This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Super Circuit Board. This design starts by stitching a very large, very open version of circuit board. And basically what that design is, is a straight line, sharp version, uh, sharp angled version of stippling. So if you want to think of it, uh, think about what would happen if you stitch stippling using uh, the lines of a um, maybe graph paper on very straight lines, sharp angles, and you want to do right angles with this design. Uh, it really gives it that look of kind of a large maze, like a Pac-Man maze. And so you want to stitch this with at least an inch or half inch between the lines of stitching, leaving a lot of space so that way you can go back in and fill inside these lines. This is a foundational design, so what you're going to do is then just simply travel stitch and echo that starting line. So really the hardest part of the design is getting this base set up first. Once you have that established, then filling in the rest of it is actually quite easy. It's really not that challenging to just simply echo. And if it is challenging for you to do this right now, I promise if you tried this on a quilt, it might not look great at the beginning, but by the time you finished the last lines of the quilt, you would have echoing down pat. You would not have to worry about it at all. It really is just practice. And a design like this, the more you stitch it, the better you get at echoing in general, and then all other designs that are similar to it would be quite easy for you. Now I finished filling in one side of the echoes. You can see that that was mostly towards the outside of this design and now I'm just simply travel stitching along the edges to get back into the middle. And that's kind of the nice thing about all of these free motion designs is that no matter where you end up in a quilt, if you don't want to break thread, if you've got plenty of thread in your bobbin and you don't want to need to switch thread colors and you don't need to uh, change anything up, change a needle or anything, just simply travel stitch to get where you're going. It's going to save you a thread break, it's going to save you time, and you can travel stitch right on top of your stitches. It's no big deal. So bearing all that in mind, here's what it looks like whenever you finish Super Circuit Board. For over 300 videos on free motion quilting and many more designs that work very similar to this Super Circuit Board design, check out the Free Motion Quilting Project at freemotionproject.com.